The town of Dewsbury, nestling in the moors of West Yorkshire, the latest place to lose two teenagers to the self-styled Islamic State. One of them, Talha Asmal, told his family he was going on a school trip. The other, Hassan Munshi, is the grandson of this man, Yakub Munshi, a respected local Islamic scholar. So in Dewsbury this afternoon, a sense of disbelief. I think it's wrong. I think it's people brainwashing people to go. You know, leave the country, leave the parent. Now this is totally wrong. The two teenagers left Manchester Airport last Tuesday on the holiday airline Thomas Cook. They flew to Dalaman in southwest Turkey. From there, they travelled into the part of Syria controlled by the Islamic State. Hassan Munchi's brother, Hamad, was convicted of terrorism in 2008. He'd been arrested when he was just 15 years old after downloading instructions for how to make napalm. Detectives investigating the new phenomenon of school-aged children travelling to Syria to join the so-called Islamic State have noticed that school holidays and half-terms are a favourite time to travel. Only last week, two London head teachers warned that they weren't sure if all their pupils would be returning after the Easter holidays. It was the three teenage girls from East London who travelled to Syria in February who first made the headlines, but senior counterterrorism detectives believe this issue won't go away quickly. Daniel Sandford, BBC News.